Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In today's video we are going to talk about MCU movies and this is going to be my ranking of all MCU movies with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania which started this phase 5 of the MCU. I want to mention that this ranking is not a true correct ranking, it is just my personal opinion and I would like to see your rankings in the comments down below now let's get started so on the dead last place the worst mcu movie for me this might be a hot take but but is thor love and thunder the, for me it is the worst because the whole movie is a joke there is a joke at every two seconds and the character of thor is not the character of thor that i that i know and on the on the next place on the 30th place is Thor the Dark World, another week, just the plot is weak, the villain is weak and is pretty much forgettable, after that the Incredible Hulk, uh, the movie kinda seems different from the other MCU movies and kinda the whole plot is just them chasing chasing him and, and it is pretty much forgettable, next one 28 is Black Widow, the movie I think has a weak plot and very weak villains that just I don't know it's the taskmaster i don't want to talk about it and i think that this movie was unnecessary and just you know i think it's a it's a very forgettable movie captain marvel i didn't like this character in the in this film next one is eternals this movie tried to do too much stuff at a very short time next one is ant-man and the wasp the second ant-man film i just think it is kind of forgettable and it just you know is there exist after that is Iron Man 2 in my opinion the worst movie of the Iron Man trilogy it has the weakest villain in my opinion after that is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania the newest Ant-Man film and the kickoff of phase 5 it is you know I liked it you have a review on my channel so you can check that out after that is the first Thor film I like this movie more than Dark World and love and thunder which may be a hot take after that is iron man 3 which i think has a, a dumb plot twist and just the story very interesting to me after that is the first doctor strange film which was quite a fun experience it was a part of the mcu that we never seen before after that is the newest doctor strange film doctor strange and a multiverse of madness which for me is just slightly better but still I think the Wanda is not just doesn't feel like Wanda and the plot is kinda messy and writing is not very good. And of course they killed the Illuminati so fast. After that is Avengers Age of Ultron. I don't know why so many people hate this film. I like this film. I think Ultron is a good villain. I don't see any big big problem with this film. After that is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Um, I think the first Black Panther is better. This film just didn't surprise me with anything. Uh, next one is Spider-Man: Far From Home. Before No Way Home, way down on my list, but after No Way Home, this movie just you know they're just not better for me. I don't know. I I see what it is. It it everything has a purpose right now. After that is Ant-Man, the first Ant-Man film for me is very underrated. Probably the most underrated MCU film, and it is the best Ant-Man film in my opinion. After that is Captain America: The First Avenger, also one of the most underrated MCU movies. I like this film. I like how they handle the origin story. I think it's great. After that is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Also, I think it's underrated. I I I like the it's Guardians, man. I like Guardians. After that is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, this movie surprised me, I really like this film, it is a great inter introduction to a new character in the MCU and I'm excited to see more of Shang-Chi, it's great, mostly because of action, bro. I can't wait to see more of, more of that Shang-Chi action. Next one is Captain America the Winter Soldier, such a great Captain America film and a great spy thriller the story is great great and i really like this film captain america really stands out for me in the mcu especially his trilogy i think his trilogy is the best of the 
MCU trilogies and I can't wait for the new Captain America Harris of War isn't it I'm excited for Harris of War after that is we are, we are kicking, off, kicking off our top 10 so yeah after that is Spider-Man Hope coming this movie was also way lower on my list before Spider-Man Way Home came out and I think it's just very very fun and entertaining movie it may not be as you know as a true Spider-Man film but as a film as it is it is just very very fun and the vulture and everything such a great film after that is in my opinion the best tour film Thor Ragnarok it is a great mix of humor and you know there is sadness and seriousness in this film but man it is a great film after that is the first Black Panther film still I think it's better than Wakanda Forever and just you know the, the world of Wakanda and the character of Black Panther was they yeah, just great after that is the first Iron Man film the first film in the MCU and it is still one of the best in my opinion just such a great story such a great character such a great origin story everything everything after that is the first Avengers film which was a huge blockbuster in the time and a very different kind of movie that you know there was never a movie that connected the franchises the multiple the multiple franchises in one film so it is a very special film and i think it, it is a great great film after that is the first guardians of the galaxy film man i love i love guardians of the galaxy they are my one of my favorite mcu groups and i just can't wait for the third one the story in, in greece was but this one was great and just you know mostly because of characters it's it's beautiful after that is the captain america civil war such a great also captain america story it's not captain america story it's part of an you know, avengers story but it fits really well within the captain america film you know they are great plot twists it's a huge 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 movie and just i think the story story is great realistic in some kind of way what would have happened in the real world if the superheroes were here so i like that idea after that is avengers infinity war i mean this movie was huge with you know so many characters so many places such a great villain tana such a great story and you know russo Brothers handled it handled it you know in a, such a great way it is a really great film after that, in my opinion, on the second place is Avengers Endgame. This movie has a special place in my heart. Such a great conclusion to the Infinity Saga and a perfect, perfect ending for, you know, for the for the Infinity Saga. But at the first place for me is Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm still not can think about, you know, to put Avengers at the first place. Maybe put Spider-Man behind, but it's still Spider-Man. No Way Home still holds with this still at my number one you know for the obvious reasons and that's it guys for this video for my ranking i would love to see your ranking in the, in the comments down below so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time